Okay, well, I don't know if this seemed like pie in the sky to you, but these types of measurement tests have actually been set up and carried out before. One example is what's shown here is the trestle. It's located in Albuquerque, New Mexico, just off the airport. You can actually see it as you fly into Albuquerque. You have to really look for it because it's built into a hole in the ground. Here's a diagram of it. This diagram actually describes the fire sprinkler system, but I found it is the best diagram that shows the geometry, including the transmission line. And in this case, instead of making the airplane go up a ramp to be elevated above the ground, they dug a huge hole in the ground and built a platform. You can see that here, uh, and which is 12 stories tall and 1,000 feet long to hold the airplane. The platform is comprised entirely of wood, glue, laminated trusses, and wood bolts. Here's a picture of them building, uh, building the platform, and here are some images of the wooden bolts. Permalley was chosen as the nut bolt material. It's comprised of material made from wood and phenolic resin, and there are over 150,000 bolts in the trestle. The source is over on this side, so what about the end of the transmission line? Ideally, the end of the transmission line would be matched to the transmission line. However, the challenge here is that we have a broad range of frequencies from 1 to 300 megahertz, and so the termination must also work over a range of frequencies. This is because the characteristic impedance of the transmission line is frequency dependent in general. Ultimately, for this trestle, they used a resistive array in a tower, 127 feet uh, above grade, that included LR admittance sheets with resistive rods constructed of strings of individual wire-wound resistors. Here are images of two other test setups that have been used recently. In these cases, they didn't really attempt to remove the effect of the ground. The sources on the top and the EMP propagates downwards towards the top of the airplane. In the case of these measurement setups, they're also interested in testing whether the airplane will fly safely through electromagnetic waves produced by radars, radio towers, lightning, and so forth. In a minute, you can get out your in-class project notebook one last time. But first, I just want to list here the course outcomes for this class again. And what's in red here is what we just covered. And in the second half of uh, wave propagation, we'll be finishing up these two that are listed in black. So to finish up your in-class project notebooks, uh, make a sketch of the final design we've come up with for testing an EMP against an airplane. Also take a few minutes and look back at the very first notes you wrote in your in-class project notebook for this design challenge. And what did you write, and how does it compare with what you know now? Uh, by the way, one last thing. If you want to know more about this field of electromagnetics, some keywords you can look up are electromagnetic compatibility, EMC, or electromagnetic interference. Uh, this doesn't relate just to airplanes, but even cell phones and computer electronics and all sorts of other things.